four, three, two. Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Different and welcome to Different Spoil YouTube channel. I hope you all out there having a wonderful day like your girl. And if not, you better be manifesting, planning, and preparing for a better one because it's surely coming to you all for sure. If this is your first time to my YouTube channel, welcome. I'm an author, motivational speaker, and CEO of my own business, Third Eye Entertainment LLC, a business that tries to bring social awareness to society through our products and services in which we educate, inspire, and entertain all at once. So again, if this is your first time, welcome. Be sure to hit that subscribe button before you leave. Uh, if this is your second time back or more, welcome back. Happy to have you guys. Happy Thursdays. Um, uh, uh, normally we do our movie reviews, our pop culture reviews, and now it's actually about to drop uh, my movie review for Black Adam, but um, I looked on my phone and seen the good news, man. Brittany Griner is coming home, but she's on her way home, and so I immediately had to uh, push that to the back and uh, uh, do a pop culture review uh, for my girl in honor of Brittany Griner. Welcome home. They finally uh, uh, reached a deal with the U.S. and Russia and uh, swap out uh, between uh, uh, arms dealer Victor Bout, I think this is his name, uh, for exchange for Griner and uh, that happened within the past 48 hours. And I think it's so crazy, man, because I had actually had a dream about this. I don't mean to claim that I'm, uh, you know, some type of psychic or clairvoyant or touched or whatever, but I just I had a dream about her like maybe two, three nights ago and just she was on the plane. And what do you know, this happens. And so, man, God is good. I've been praying for her, her family. And, you know, friends, teammates, and everybody else, man. And I just, you know, I'm so happy to hear that, you know, they finally were able to reach a deal. Uh, for those that have been living under a rock and don't know what's going on in her background story, um, Brittany Griner has been, was detained, I think, back in February of this year, 2022, in Russia uh, on account of carrying illegal cannabis oil, uh, which equates, I think, to like weed. You know, y'all know what it is, it's weed, you know. They basically, you know, a lot of trying to lock her up, you know, for, for carrying, you know, two cartridges for some weed, y'all. Damn, some weed? Damn! But, you know, it, it's their law, so you know, I understand, you know, in that situation, you know, that, that you know, that's it's their rule, so you gotta play by their game. But in any case, you know, after that, that's the case, she was given a nine and a half year sentences, and so uh, they were finally able to reach a deal, and she's been there for just about, I think they said somewhere around like 295, 94 days, she was there, damn near a year. And uh, thank God they were able to bring her home right before Christmas, man. And I know her mom, her, her, her wife, her family, friends, I uh, know uh, Tarasi, her best friends, uh, they're happy to see her, man. Uh, I actually, fun fact, true fact, I went to school with her. Uh, it wasn't long, just, you know, my sophomore year, spring 20, 2007, Nimitz High School, check the school records. Uh, we actually had a uh, geometry class together, and uh, it's kind of funny how I, I, I heard about her and met her. I never met her or spoken with her, but... Um, they, she was, her name was always a buzz in school and people were saying, you know, Brittany, BG, a, a, a grinder girl. And so uh, my first class, or this was in the afternoon, we had geometry class or whatever. Uh, the teacher asked a question and mind you beforehand, before I, I knew it, it was, you know, Brittany Grinder, I thought it was a man. And so when she opened up her mouth and, and was answering the question, I looked to my back to see, you know, Wait, that's her? That, that's that's BG? I'm like, oh, yeah. And she's like, man, but well, that's this. It's cool because, you know, um, she would also walk the halls and people would, you know, yell disparaging names to her, you know, call all kinds of, you know, mean names to it. And one thing I noticed about her, she would keep her head held high, you know, as she was walking through those high halls, man, because she knew that she was going to be something and be somebody and none of that mattered. And uh, I just thank God, you know, she, she carried that strength with her. I know that it, was, it had to be held for her, you know, being away almost a year from her family in a foreign country, man, and in and, 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 and a place, you know, that's uh, known for you know homophobia, man, and so um, they were they detained on some oil cartridges. But let's keep it real; they probably detained her because she was a black woman, she's a lesbian, and you know that was just you know political move as well, in my opinion. And so, but in in any case, I'm glad that she's home. Uh, while I'm doing all this yip yapping and talking, I also I found some clips online uh, that just dropped on some news of her. Uh, with the uh, uh, switch with her and Victor about, as well as, you know, some clips of her in the penal colony. They had her uh, in Russia um, 
as well as a clip by I Swipe from GMA. So check these out, and once we get back, we'll talk a little bit more about BG and what's going on in different tour, yeah? Here it is. We do want to get to that breaking news this morning. The major announcement from President Biden after 294 days in a Russian prison, Brittany Griner has been freed. News that the country and Brittany's wife, Sherelle, have been waiting a long time for. Sherelle and Brittany have spoken to the president. These negotiations happening with the backdrop of Putin's war in Ukraine intensifying. We're going to go straight to our chief White House correspondent, Cecilia Vega. Good morning, Cecilia. George, good morning to you. We just got breaking news here from senior officials in this administration, so let me tell you what I know. This all came together within the last 48 hours. Brittany Griner was moved out of that penal colony into Moscow as these negotiations tightened. She was transferred from Moscow today to the UAE. She is currently, as we speak, en route to the United States. You saw the president speaking with Griner earlier this morning with her wife, Sherelle, here in the Oval Office. That phone call took place while Griner was on that tarmac in the United Arab Arab Emirates. We are told that she is in good health this morning, that she is being offered a wide range of support options after months of being detained, that she is, quote, in an extremely upbeat mood, all smiles and extremely grateful, and that she is expected to be home within 24 hours. This morning, WNBA star Brittany Griner is on her way home to the United States. She's safe. She's on a plane. She's on her way home. Griner released as part of a one-for-one -one prisoner swap with Russian Victor Boot, an international arms dealer with suspected ties to Russian intelligence, who was serving a 25-year sentence in the U.S. President Biden tweeting out these photos with Griner's wife, Sherelle, Vice President Harris, and Secretary of State Antony Blinken. They're in the Oval Office as they spoke to Griner on the phone. Just moments ago, President Biden addressing the nation. I'm glad to be able to say that Brittany's in good spirits. She uh, she's relieved to finally be heading home. Sherelle also joining the president at the podium. Today is just a happy day for me and my family, so um, I'm going to smile right now. <laughs> Nine months ago, Griner was arrested at a Moscow airport for carrying vape cartridges containing hash oil. The seven-time All-Star admitted to mistakenly putting two cartridges in her luggage, but also providing documents showing she had a prescription from an American doctor. A Russian court sentencing her to nine years, and she was recently transferred to a Russian penal colony. In May, Sherelle Griner opened up to Robin about the moment she learned her wife was detained. This is my wife, you know, so as much as I want to go in that bed or lay on this couch, because <laughs> the first week I laid on this couch and cried my eyeballs out, you know. Um, I was numb. I couldn't move. And then I said, you got to get up now. Sherelle never giving up hope it's in the right. fight for Britney's freedom. Has it been comfort comforting to see all the WNBA courts with BG42? Yes, but I think more specifically, it comforts BG. It lets her know she's not forgotten. And like, obviously, you know, when you're sitting over there in your country, having, they haven't come in to your rescue yet. I know that it makes her feel good, you know, because she doesn't want to be forgotten, you know? And those small moments, like, I know, give her some type of hope. Now, Sherelle was all smiles just a few moments ago here at the White House. She is eagerly looking forward to reuniting with her wife, whom she calls BG. I want to tell you more about the breaking details that we are getting from senior administration officials. What happened here today, this release is a product of months and months of what they call painstaking negotiations across the highest levels of the U.S. government and the highest levels there in Moscow. The U.S. engaged directly with the Russians to try and secure not just Griner's release, but also Paul Whelan. The, the the, the uh, American who has been held in U.S. custody for years now, accused of espionage. Administration officials say that Biden had to make the difficult decision to accept this deal without Whelan in, in order to get Griner home because the, the uh, Russians very much believe that the Whelan case is very different. George, I will leave it back to you, but these details are still breaking. They say they are still continuing to try to get Whelan home. Uh, the Russians made it clear the only way that they could secure Griner's release 
was to release uh, Russian, uh, the Russian uh, Vic armed, convicted arms dealer uh, Victor Boot. He was scheduled for release in 2029 after more than 12 years behind bars in U.S. custody. But just to reiterate, this all came together in the last 48 hours. Griner was moved from that penal colony to Moscow. She was transferred to the United Arab Emirates. Today, she is currently en route to the United States. They say that she is in good spirits, that she was all smiles, that she is extremely grateful. She is very much looking forward to being home with her wife, her friends, her team. And that could happen, George, within about 20, within, the president says, hopefully within 24 hours, we could expect to see her back on U.S. soil. Do you know where I'm heading to? No. No? No. 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 no, no. You fly back home. To, to the U.S. To the U.S. Yes, of course. Everything will be fine. Okay. All right, everybody, welcome back. Uh, so if you guys, you know, watched that little clip and giving you some background in history and what was going on uh, with the Brittany Griner story, uh, as you guys seen, she was detained back in February, you know, uh, for bringing in some illegal uh, cannabis oil into the country. Uh, basically, they found her guilty and gave her a 10 year sentence. She served, she was, uh, excuse me, given a nine and a half sentence. Been there for damn near a year. Or, uh, and they finally reached a deal as of, I think, 48 hours ago where the U.S. and Russia agreed to do a switch uh, for uh, Russian arms dealer Victor Bout. I think he's been uh, in the U.S. jail for, I think they said about 12 years. Uh, now I'm sorry I didn't do too much of a background check. It's not about him. This is about my girl BG. So uh, in any case, um, they made the swap and as you guys seen, uh, they um, swapped out and um, the United Emirates and they also made her cut her hair man I was mad about that man because I'm a lockhead too and so man uh, I don't know if that was by choice or if that's something they made her do probably they made her do I believe but we'll see uh, bottom line is man I'm just happy that they were able to you know finally bring her home and it took too long but you know it's finally done uh, so welcome home BG man I'm so happy God is good when you keep your faith in him man it, it's amazing things happen and so uh, and everything happens for a reason. And if, if, if I was BG shit, uh, even though I went through some hell, I would turn that, that pain into some profit and just, just capitalize off this moment. You know, book deals, interviews, you know, documentaries and movies, like, all that shit. I would, I would get my money back shit. If I was Sarah, get your money back. All the time you'd have missed out on, you know, making your money all over nonsense, get your money back. Dude. That's what I would say. And so, um, if you guys like this video, you, you know, support BG, you're happy that she's home, 
definitely uh, show that by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to my YouTube channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support. Uh, definitely a uh, big shout out to BG and everybody that, you know, kept her in the prayers and, you know, and supported her. I know uh, her family, her wife, uh, the LGBTQ community are happy to have her back. Uh, uh, the women's basketball, uh, her team, they're happy. I know uh, and I'm happy, you know, as a Houstonian and, and a former classmate and a black woman. Uh, I'm, I'm happy to see, you know, my sisters, one of my sisters home, man. And, it shouldn't have happened to begin with, but like I said, everything happens for a reason. Maybe this was just another part of her testimony. Who knows what's about to take place next in her story? And, and she, you know, who knows? You know, God can turn any type of, you know, trial and tribulation to a triumph. So just sit back and watch, and let this be a lesson for all of us. You know, be uh, aware of, you know, the rules and regulations when you go in different countries and, you know, what you can and can't do because, you know, it not only can it happen to her, you know, it can happen to anybody else. Um, so with that being said, you guys, moving on uh, to the next topic, what's going on in Dipper's Well, um, like I said, I was supposed to drop uh, my movie review on Black Adam, but we got the good news about our girl BG, so I had to go ahead and uh, push that to the back. So next week, I'll drop that. I'm also working on my travel vlog. Uh, I think I'm going to do a mesh. Uh, um, speaking of Russia, I uh, wanted to show you guys uh, my little picture. I had a little short layover in Russia. I never went to Russia itself. Um, but even in such, uh, it was very strict in the airport, man. They wouldn't let me go nowhere outside the little walking areas, man. It was very strict there. So, um, with that being said, y'all don't have to worry about me going to Russia no time soon. Mm -mm, save my lack ass. Right here in the U.S. of A. And if they ask me to go back to Africa, I tell them, hell no, nah, because it's too hot right now. Okay? Um, but in any case, um, we have that coming uh, soon with Russia and uh, a mesh of Spain as well so be on the lookout for my travel vlog from that i know you guys so thank you for the love and support i'm getting on the puerto rico and all the other vlogs i'm dropping you guys i'm trying to do back to back to back uh in 2020 you know on a high note and start 2023 out on the bank as well so definitely hit that subscribe button keep rocking out with your girl and coming back and coming and learning about you know what's going down also don't forget you guys can go to my website check me out um of all my social media handles my facebook instagram twitter also you can go to my website again differentswell.net and book me for any type of motivation speaking event uh, that you like for me to be a part of i'm free of charge as of now also don't forget you guys my book what if a controversial paradigm ship is available also on my website again differentworld.net again it is a book that's written to encourage and inform thought-provoking conversations about injustice and racism in america and again i've done this through pro excuse me provocative and uh, graphic illustrations so uh be advised that you know it's intended for a mature audience and so uh if you can't take this heat still come to the kitchen you know like i said this book is meant to start that conversation and push the envelope and and get the ball rolling and to you know create and push for systemic change so even if you know you're those that type of like you know turn a blind eye these conversations make you uncomfortable definitely still read the book and and, and even if you don't want to share your thoughts or opinion about it at least you you know you see others thoughts and opinion about it in a different perspective so uh, again go to my website differentswell.net and get your copy of my book what if a controversial paradigm shift yeah all right you guys thank you for that let's keep this train moving you know we're doing real good here and so uh uh next on the agenda what else we got going on in different world mm, i think that's about it as far as you know what we got coming up next uh let's go ahead and do a mental health wellness check you guys you know here in third eye entertainment and in different world uh we uh heavily push for mental health wellness and um uh, uh awareness if you will mental health wellness awareness that's a little you know interchangeable in my, in my opinion you do either or but in any case uh, if anybody out there that's going through any type of mental struggles you know anguish uh, being depression anxiety you know bullying especially around you know the holiday season it's very important to know that it is okay to not be okay but never ever ever sit there and not be okay whatever type of you know mental anguish you're going through please go get help and, and find what works best for you. Uh, if you need or know anybody that needs these mental health resources, please share it with them. The crisis hotline number is 1-800-273-8255 
or you can call or text 988. For those that would prefer to text 741741, you can do so. Or you can go online to mentalhealthishealth.us or you can go out to 988lifeline.org. Or for those that are outside of the U.S., you can go to incounseling.com. Again, that is spelled E-N-C-O-N-U-S-E-L-I-N-G. Uh, that is for those that are outside the U.S. You can uh, go to their website, check out all the uh, different countries they have and their directories and numbers and websites you can check out for them, okay? Uh, and just remember, do your own research and find what works best for you. And also just know that, again, it's okay to not be okay, but never, excuse me, never ever sit there and not be okay, okay? Especially during the holiday season. And also, you guys, make sure you're checking on your loved ones, you know, during these times. You know, it could be little pop-ups or sending them text messages, you know, do so. But you never know, you know, it goes a long way as well. Uh, and so with that being said, we're going to close out. You know, again, don't forget like, share, comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hope you guys enjoy uh, the topic that we talked about today. Again, welcome home, BG. Happy to have you back. Uh, uh, excuse me. Again, don't forget, get your money back, girl. <laughs> like I said, capitalize on this uh, um, this opportunity. I know that you know it sucked what you went through, and I, I pray nobody would have to go through that. Uh, that's in that position, in in, in that situation. Um, but if I, again, if I were you, you know, I would make the best out of that situation and just start capitalizing on it. You know, it is what it is and it's over and done with now. Thank God. And finally, and big shout out to Joe Biden for doing his part. You know, a lot of people were complaining and, and, and expecting, you know, for this man to snap his fingers and it, it was going to happen overnight. Y'all have to remember that change does not happen overnight and it takes more than one person to complain. And so... More than one voice, excuse me, one voice, and, and and constant effort, we eventually got that change that was needed. And so that's just what, what 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 happens when you push forward and you come together, you create change. And so big shout out to him and his team for doing their part and bringing our girl home. And so uh, again, for those that are out there feeling they're destined for greatness in life, remember you got to manifest, plan, and prepare for it, and it will surely come to you all. Different twelve. Come and learn. Peace. What if? What if in 1619 Africans started dealing in slave trading? The tables were turned around. What if they kidnapped millions of Englishmen, women, and children from their homeland and brought them to America on a slave ship? What if a controversial paradigm shift is a book written to inform and encourage consistent, thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systematic racism in America through graphic but provocative illustrations? What if provides a different perspective by detailing controversial deaths and events as four categorized paradigm shifts, historical, political, precedent, and hypothetical? What if? A controversial paradigm shift by author Different. Go to differenceworld.net.